I love it when complete skeptics come in and often they'll walk away feeling remarkably better. They're not quite sure why, but they know it works. <laughs> I started my journey at quite a young age. When I was eight years old, I woke up in the morning and I couldn't see. I was completely blind. For about a year, I was in hospital going and getting tests, all of the drugs put in through my system, and I just wasn't getting any better. My mom started looking for answers. She found those in energy healing and natural medicine. And so she took me to acupuncturists and started taking me to an energy healer as well. And I started to improve. My vision came back. I, I felt really good. And that took me on this journey of uh, doing a lot of different courses and talking to a lot of different healers around the world, learning from many of them uh, about how the body works, about how memory and emotion is stored within the body. And often, if it's stuck there, it can turn into disease. Recently, I met my partner, Jeremy, and we realized that we had similar practices and we both had the passion for healing and we both explored acupuncture and Chinese medicine together and decided to open a clinic in and do, do what we love to help others. My family is a Chinese ethnic living in Cambodia. My childhood was quite violent, very abusive, and of course that leaves a very significant uh, imprint on a, on a de developing child. A man uh, that I've known for a long time, a few years ago, gave me a book. He said, you have to learn how to do medicine. And then we, we went our different ways, but then I used some of those treatments on myself. And, you know, having had a very traumatic uh, childhood and having um, traumas that my body was still holding on to, which was affecting my behaviors. And that's when I realized I have to learn more and I have to find a way to apply it for, for other people so I can help other people. We started at West End Markets. People started coming up to us and asking about ghosts and spirits and spirituality as well, healing. And we found there was a huge group of people uh, who would come to the markets who were looking for those sorts of services. The Chinese medicine-based energy healings. We looked to find and treat the cause of the factor, what's causing the issue. The original Chinese medicine was more shamanic and is what we're doing now, we're bringing this back to the modern day. Our main service is acupressure. Jeremy loves his kundalini training and primal self-restoration. So acupressure is of the same system as uh, acupuncture, just that we don't use needles to uh, activate the points. And it's basically touching the points along the meridian in the body to stimulate the energy flow and bring back the circulation of, of uh, energy that should be flowing in that pathway. And that will help people restore them back to uh, wellness. Kundalini, basically it's about cultivating your sexual forces. So it's like charging your battery and building the system of like a circuit inside the body and then getting using that, that charged up force to achieve like a healthy flow but then also you can use it to turn on certain faculties in the body. The one that springs to mind is a client who I'd known for a little while and I had seen her journey. She was really struggling with fertility and hormones and things just went shifting for her. So I got her down on the table and started doing energy points for her. For her, it was a really beautiful experience. It was very gentle. She wasn't expecting that. And she texted me the next day and said, oh my gosh, like things have changed for me. Um, my hormones have started to balance and my body feels very different. And that was really when I started to realize that it had, it had some powerful effects. It was something that I could do for other people that would really change their life in a positive way. I started making the, the crystal handmade jewellery about four years ago. Because crystals can conduct energy, people are looking for a certain avenue in their life, like uh, be more grounded or uh, to be protected, then certain crystals can definitely help with that, especially if they also have like an energetic or a, or a mantric practice. My suggestion for people who are feeling a bit stuck, they've got illnesses to deal with, is to have that love, that compassion, that curiosity for themselves 
and find benefit in the meditation, looking inwards, experiencing the energy that goes through their own body and, and what's there to, to face themselves in a loving, compassionate and curious way. There is a synergy between Jeremy and I, and it does allow us to be better practitioners because we both learn from each other every day. Everything I could have wanted and more in a partner. Just having someone who I know is gonna, we share the same vision, we have the same thing we strive for. So to have that in someone like who loves you as much as you love them, like, yeah, that's, you know, I think that's pretty hard to find.